Hello and welcome to the video for Monday, May the 4th. We're sixth grade. Uh, this is going to be the first lesson from our last packet of the year um, as far as uh, if you are a student at Risen Christ Lutheran. Um, so you will notice if you look in that packet that there's a piece of paper that says what the assignments are um, and they do not have problem numbers. So I'm going to try to keep as much as possible with the normal routine of doing the odd numbers for share and show and on your own and then kind of supplement that with anything else that we need as I teach the lesson. Uh, the idea of course being if you're watching the lesson uh, that you can just adapt with that part. Homework, we're going to try to do as much as possible, keep with the routine of doing even numbers on the front, one and two on the back. Now, um, I am finding that there are more people uh, besides just uh, students and parents at Risen Christ that are uh, watching these videos. Uh, so to be more helpful to those people, I am going to start including all of the answers to all of the homework problems. Um, so that will be front and back, uh, just to be able to help uh, out anyone else that is finding us through a Google search, uh, looking for uh, help with this uh, particular lesson or any other lesson. So I uh, just wanted to make you aware of those changes. So we are going to be working today with measures of center. So we've already talked about mean, and I've given you an idea about the median and why we want to make sure that we don't always assume that the mean is going to be the uh, middle number uh, in every set. And we talked about that last week. So our measure of center is going to be a single value that we use to describe the middle of a data set. So the three different ways that we can do that are mean, median, and mode. Um, we've had the most work with this. We are going to introduce mode uh, right now. So uh, to start with, we have all of our numbers here. Um, our mean would be the sum of this divided by another number. I'm going to go ahead and help you out if you haven't uh, paused the video to try to figure this out. Uh, we are looking for 24.6 here, and we are going to be dividing by 6 because we have 6 total points of data, and that should give us an answer of 4.1. So let's see how that compares to what we would get for our median. So our data set, if it has an even number of values, we are going to find the median not by looking at the middle number, but by adding both of these together and then dividing by two to get an estimate of what the middle should be. Now, again, sometimes that might actually come out to this, sometimes it might not. Um, so let's see what we end up getting. We get 2.9 plus 4.7, and that is going to give us 7.6, if I did that correctly. And then we are going to be dividing by 2, and that would give us 3.8. Because 38 times 2 would give us 76. So assuming that I did the addition part here, which looks correct, I get 16 here, carry the 1, yeah. So we are going to have a bit of a difference here. Now, that doesn't mean that we have to say, oh, well, one of these two is so much better than the other, um, or it might be closer. Like, we'll worry about that part at a different time. So if they ask for the mean, this would be the correct answer. If they ask for the median, this is how that we would end up finding that. It doesn't mean that one's better or worse than the other for right now. And then just like the um, these two are going to be different, we are going to have a completely different answer if we want the mode. So if we look at these uh, data points, the two that match um, and occur or occur the most often would be 2.9. And so if we were basing it on the mode, then our middle point would actually be 2.9 not either of the other two. So depending on what we're looking for, uh, we may go ahead and have different answers for that. Um, let's not worry about that one for right now. I do want to go over both of these examples so you can get some practice understanding how to find the mean, the median, and the mode for a set of numbers. So I am going to go ahead and um, start by putting these in order from least to greatest. And then I'm going to add them in that uh, same way. Uh, actually, I'll take that back. I'm going to add them in the way that they're here because I can uh, group. 
So I'm going to start writing this. While I'm doing that, go ahead and uh, pause the video if you need to, uh, to go ahead and have everything ready um, if you're not going to do this at the same time as me. And then when you're ready and you have everything uh, the way that you want it, uh, go ahead and unpause the video. So um, if I'm going to add these, actually, I'm not even going to take the time to add, uh, write these in. Uh, that would give us 15 plus 25, which is 40, plus 30, which is 70. Uh, this part is going to add up to being 55. So that should give us 125 uh, for 70 plus 55. And then I'm going to have five points of data. So I would divide by five. So 125 divided by five should be 25. Yeah. Because if there are four quarters and a dollar, a dollar twenty-five is worth five quarters, so that would give us five times twenty-five. Um, our median is going to be twenty-seven, which is our center number. So our two different things for that. We are not going to have a mode for this one because I do not have a repeated value. So this last part, the data set has no repeated values, so there is no mode. And let's go ahead and take a look at our bottom one real quick. We're working with easier numbers. We possibly will have a mode, and we actually are going to probably have more than one because we have a tie. So um, actually, I'll look at that part first. So we have zero, two ones, two twos, and a three. And so if we write them in order from least to greatest, we can go ahead and figure out what the center number could be. Um, but we're going to have an even number here of uh, data points. Um, but we do know that we have two ones and two twos, so that would give us both of our modes. If we uh, go ahead and continue, or I'll come back to the mean in just a moment, we are going to have one plus two divided by two, and so that would give us 1.5 for the median. Our mean would give us one, two, four, six, nine over six, and so that should give us one and a half. So one and three sixths, or one point five. And so um, we are going to have two different modes. We are going to have a mean of 1.5, and we are also going to have a median of 1.5. Again, I don't want you to get used to the idea that both of these may end up being the same. Um, that is a common trick as we are learning uh, this that might throw you off. So just because we find the median and the mean to be the same number, it's more a coincidence than a normal rule. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at number one for Sharon's show. If I go ahead and take a look at my modes, actually, the first thing I'm going to recommend is go ahead and write things out in order so that we can figure out the median. So we're going to have 3, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 10. I've got seven uh, data points, assuming that I didn't forget something. And so six is going to be um, my median. My mode is going to be five and six. And then for the answer to this part, um, I'm going to be adding. So I'm going to get 10. Seven plus 10 makes another 10. So that gives us 20. Five and five makes another 10, which gives us 30. Plus six gives us 36. Plus six gives us 42. We can do 42 divided by 7 to get a mean of 6. Uh, number 2 we could do, um, but there's not much. I mean, uh, other than working with decimals, we're not going to get a whole lot of benefit from that. We are going to be working with decimals anyway on number 3. So uh, TJ is training for the 200-meter dash event, um, so we want to find the median. And I usually start with that. Um, so for the moment, what our first point would be would be 22.3, followed by 22.5. I'm sorry, 22.4. This is why I try to do this point, this part first. Then 22.5, uh, 
uh, would be our center point, and then uh, the other two would be larger. So 22.5 is going to be the median. There is no mode because we do not have a repeating number. Um, and then the mean, we would go ahead and add all these together. Um, so uh, to save some time, I would recommend you just use a calculator, probably uh, save you a few moments. I'm going to try to do this in my head really quick. Uh, so 22 plus 24 uh, is going to give us 46, 68, 70, 8, 80, 103, 104, 105. divided by five would give us 21. So, let me grab that. Um, number five, I don't always do word problems. So one of the things that you'll notice from my videos is I sometimes count the word problems as part of the kind of uh, problem solving questions. Um, I will do this one. Um, so if we want to try to keep the mean cell phone usage at 600 minutes or less, how many minutes uh, did the mean number of minutes exceed the goal? So our mean is going to be the uh, total of all of these months divided by the number of months. So if you need to go ahead and pause, I am actually going to cheat and use my calculator real quick um, because I did not uh, pre-plan this one and I don't want you to have to wait uh, for me to go ahead and uh, do this part in my head. So I came up with 3,828 minutes. Um, and if I divide that by six, I get 638 minutes. So that means um, we exceeded the goal of 600 for the mean by 38 minutes. Now, um, just because I use a calculator um, doesn't mean that you are also not allowed to use a calculator. Um, I find for a lot of these things um, that it does benefit. We're working on the method, not your ability to add uh, six numbers together that are three and four digits and then hand write a division problem. So, um, I had to do it without a calculator. That doesn't mean that you have to, um, as long as you understand what we are doing and why we're doing it. So um, for the homework questions, we are going to look at number two. So our median would be the center number of this. Um, our mode would be any number that's repeated. Um, for number five, uh, we are going to be looking for a median average of 25 miles. So we're gonna take all of these add them together and divide uh, by the number of data points to see if we have a median of 25 or not. And then we are going to, as part of the explanation, uh, say not only yes or no, but what was the uh, difference between what we were looking for and our goal of 25 miles. Um, number seven, you can kind of choose in your own words. So I will, excuse me, we were looking for number eight uh, for that, sorry. Um, I'm giving you the odd numbers instead of the even. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to do something very similar for that. Um, so you could actually choose for number six uh, which way you are going to do that. Um, and you may get a different answer depending on how you choose to do that. Uh, number one and number two on the back, they want specifically the mode and the mean. So again, uh, for we actually wanted number two and number four. So the meaning we talked about, um, Oh, okay, so for number four, you're gonna to have to do three different things. So we're gonna take this data set, add another 10 to that, and that will actually give us a mode, um, and then determine what the mean and the median would be for that. So hopefully that helps explain uh, what we're working on for today. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom. Uh, sorry the video took a little bit longer with the extra explanations and kind of stumbling over one or two things along the way. Um, but I'll be more than happy to help however I can. Um, again, for the homework video, we will be looking at every single problem uh, front and back. Those will be go ahead uh, pre-planned so we keep the video a little shorter, but I will explain each problem 
and what you needed to do to solve it. So hope that helps. If you have any questions, again, please feel free to ask. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow.